Hello everybody, JGC Anime here, and today we are going to be reviewing Tsukumichi Moonlit Fantasy. I hope I read that right. So yeah, I should probably mention before, this is actually one of the more unique animes on my list. And by unique, I mean I literally went into it completely blind. I thought it looked like a mediocre anime just from the drawings and stuff, so I didn't really think that much about it when I decided to dive in. And, oh boy, I have a lot to say about this show. But yeah, let's just hop right into this. So, what's the story summary? So apparently, there's these two, like this boy and this girl who end up going to another world. They have kids, and after they had kids, these kids are all just living their lives when their son is told that he has to come back to the world they came from in order to, as per the deal that the parents made. So yeah, he goes there, it's, it's an isekai. He goes to another world. And in that other world, he has a bunch of people he meets, as well as dealing with the fact that the goddess thinks he's the ugliest creature imaginable and sends him down there with only the ability to understand the language. Whereas the fact that apparently in that world, he actually is extremely overpowered due to the fact that for some reason he's just completely overpowered. He has like an unlimited batch of mana and he's just this, he's just this overpowered protagonist. And of course, I love overpowered protagonists, but they have to be dealt with right, so yeah. That's all I can really say without spoiling too much, and let's just talk about what I like and dislike. What I like? Quite a bit, actually. I think a lot of the comedy in this show is fantastic. They take the overpowered and put it to one punch man levels of comedy, that's just my opinion. And overall, there's not that much I dislike. There are a few storylines that feel a bit stretched out, or like they build up to something but then don't go anywhere, or tacked on, like there's this bit in the final two episodes where there seems like this really tacked on thing that doesn't feel necessary which I could talk about in the spoiler section if I want to but overall I still think there's so much better though so much good that outweighs the bad that all in all I just really liked it plus there's two characters in it that are called Mio and Tomoe that there's, there's some my there's some of my favorite characters in the entire show and yeah there's also I think it's Makoto I, I don't know is I think that might be his name who's the main character who's actually pretty funny all in all there's a lot of really good stuff that I really liked in this show and if we had to go into some spoiler free thoughts I think the show was pretty good there were so many good elements that finding some bad ones was very difficult because it's just I, I laughed so hard throughout this entire show, and I already heard that it's getting a season two, which makes me kind of excited because I really had a pretty good time in this season. But if I but if I'm gonna go into a full dive about what I like and dislike about this, I should probably go into a spoiler section. So here is a timestamp to when the spoiler section ends. But if you have seen the show, I'd recommend sticking around for the spoiler section, since I might go over stuff that you might disagree or agree with that you can spam in the comments, being angry or happy about. And yeah. Let's just count up from five and begin the spoiler section. Five, four, three, two, one. So, spoiler section. I love this show, it's so good. Like I am amazed and astounded by how good this show is. There's so many great comedy moments, like in, in one of the episodes, the, the Tomoe and, and, Mio just ended up just destroying this town <laughs> and when they go back to the inn they were staying at rather than letting them sleep in the beds the main character ties them around with a spider whip <laughs> and shoots them out on his bow sending them into the sky <laughs> oh my gosh there are so many great moments in in this show i and it's just i had so much fun there were so few problems I have with this anime, and maybe it's just because I really like the overpowered comedy. As I said before, they have, if they're going to write about an overpowered character, they have to do it right. Good examples, in my opinion, are stuff like Kirito, as well as Anos Voldegode, and One Punch Man, showing that you can have an overpowered but hilarious character. And they just prove it so well in this show that it is possible to create that kind of character because Makoto has all these different cons and I, I'm gonna keep calling him Makoto, but he has all these different pros and cons like pros He's super overpowered. He can, he has like unlimited mana He can do so many different things, but also cons he can't talk in the, the humans or something dialect And he also is considered a monster if he doesn't wear like specific items like a face mask and some bracelets 
and it's just he has all these pros and cons and his character is just so much fun to be around because he, he just has these different reactions especially since as a somewhat of an otaku not entirely i never really collected more than light novels and manga well i do have this my hero academia figurine but all in all though i just think that he's He's an understandable protagonist who's living in this world, even though they say the goddess calls him ugly, but in general, he's not that bad looking in comparison to be like if you look on my main channel, which I'm not going to promote right now because I don't want to promote it on my on this channel. I think I I'm probably much uglier. <laughs> it's just it's a, it's a fun time. I can't think of that much I dislike. There were a few things that were slightly disappointing. Like, I thought they were trying to bring back this girl who confessed to Makoto in a new form where apparently, where I thought she was gonna be like this legendary hero who was supposed to defeat him, but now she's just a girl who looks like her and she's there. She's just there. <laughs> Which I don't mind. I don't mind that that's her character, but it is a bit disappointing that they never really went anywhere with that. Who knows, they might in the future, maybe in season two. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to season two. But there was this one thing I didn't really like. It's that in episode 11, they th decided to tack on something. Right at the end of episode 11, it seemed like everything was kind of cool now. Then they were about to go make some new plans. And then suddenly the goddess just teleports Makoto into this completely new environment where people think he's one of the goddess's warriors and then they try to fight him. And while the fight scene is pretty great, the downside is it just feels like it's completely out of nowhere and a last minute shove in that I was just not happy with. But that was only one of the major real problems I have with it. One thing I actually really liked was how they kind of wrapped up the storyline before that with like Dark Makoto, where after a few people from his land, are, because he, he started like a little farm, like in that time he got reincarnated as a slime, where he has like this whole town with these people in it, where some of them get killed by some humans. I'm, I'm calling them humans because they have like a Y in their name. And he just goes all dark, like he's just like, oh yeah, I forgot my mask. Well, I don't really care what you think. I'd rather just kill you myself. Like, it's so dark, but I love it. I freaking loved it. Like, it, there's, and I think they balance out the dark moments with the comedy so well. Some people might not like the sun shift in tone, but I think they balance it really well. Where one moment's like super dark and the next moment it's just comedic fun. And I think they just balanced it so well. And I, the animation was really good. I didn't think it was like the most amazing thing ever. I didn't think it had like some God tier budget. But for a show that ran on a budget, I think it was pretty good. The action was pretty solid, and while it didn't give me like heart-pounding action where I thought every scene was fantastic, I definitely had a very good time with a lot of moments in this show. And overall, it's just, I had a pretty good time. Now, if we had to talk about some cons, one major con would definitely be how, how things would slow down at times and other times they would speed up like there's just one episode where they're just chilling in what he calls the demi planes that was created when he formed a a pact with tomoe that was it was interesting but there are the, the while they are interesting aspects i do kind of wish that more adventuring happened in an adventuring anime because they do travel to places but it, it's fine it definitely feels like one punch man in a way where they'll have this generic thing, you know, it's fine, it's it's an idea, an, an okay concept, but then they just create something to make it better. Like even the parts that I struggle to enjoy, like this random bit where there's these ladies who were like cursed, and Makoto had to gather get get some help to find a cure for them, which was it, it wasn't that interesting on its own. But when they actually got to the main point and showing how strong Makoto was, it was great it just it was like one punch man in that aspect where despite the fact that there were a lot of mediocre aspects to it because they were some of your more generic premises i still had a very good time and i definitely really liked this anime so we're at the conclusion now all i could say though is that i generally love this anime it was so good and i just i would highly recommend it to people who like an overpowered protagonist mixed in with perfect comedy i i laughed at almost every single moment and just had a really good time. I can't really say anything bad about the show, and I rated it a solid 10 out of 10. 
it was similar to both Don Machi and One Punch Man in that aspect that despite the fact it had flaws, I still had a very good time and it's been a while since I've given a 10 out of 10 to an anime. And I don't, I'm not afraid to give it to this one. It was a good, solid anime. And all in all, I definitely think it was one of the better ones. And that's all I really have to say. Thank you all for listening. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I try to upload anime reviews weekly. And yeah, that's all I really have to say, and I thank you all for watching. Peace!